In this problem, it is desired to install a new maintenance drop shaft, B, in an existing sewer between two existing maintenance holes, A and C. How deep must the drop shaft be in feet in order to reach the ground surface, assuming it is constructed so that its max depth is 12 inches below the sewer's invert elevation at the proposed station? So the first thing that we can note about this problem is that you don't need the manual. Um, we just need to use geometry here. So the first thing we can do is take a look at what we've been given. We have drop shafts A and C, as well as the proposed drop shaft B. This is a 36 inch RCP sewer, and this is the ground surface up top. The table here gives us the stations and the ground surface elevations for all three of our drop shafts. It is not giving us the invert elevation for B. And the problem itself is asking us to find the total depth of the drop shaft. So the first thing we can do here, since this is a linear sewer and there's a new drop shaft being put in in between drop shafts A and B, um, is we can solve for the slope of the existing sewer. And that's as simple as our rise over our run. So the first thing we can find is the delta Y between manholes A and C. And that's going to be given right here in our table. So the invert elevation of the manhole at A and C has been given to be 411 0.5 feet minus 404.25 feet. And that's going to be 7.25 feet. So the invert at C is 7.25 feet lower than the invert at A. We can do the same thing here and get our gamma, sorry, our delta X, and that's just going to be the difference between the two stations here. So stations written in this value can simply be thought of as the hundreds column on this side and everything after it on this side. So two plus zero zero will be 200 feet and zero plus 25 will be given as simply 25 feet. So this is 175 feet. Now if we were to divide 7.25, our delta Y over our delta X of 175, we would get a slope of 0 0.414 feet per feet. And that's going to be the slope of our existing sewer. Step two is going to be to find the invert elevation at the new station B. And that's because Y equals MX, our old slope intercept form here, technically plus B, but there is no, there's no B component in this problem. So what we can do now is so we're finding the invert elevation at b here so we know the slope and we know the difference in distance between these two points so we can say that the distance between b to to a is going to be the difference between these two stations so again one plus zero zero is going to be equal to 100 feet and zero plus 25 is going to be equal to 25 feet and so that's going to be our x distance here. And then our m is our slope, which we calculated out to be 0 0.414 feet per feet. And this is going to be equal to 3.1 feet. So b is 3.1 feet deeper 
than the invert elevation at A. So now we can look for our third step, which is going to be finding drop shafts B, drop shaft B's bottom elevation. So the drop shaft bottom elevation at B is going to be found by subtracting the 3.1 feet we calculated here from the 411.5 we have at drop shaft A. So we've got 411.5 feet minus 3.1 feet. But we also have an additional value because we can see that in the problem statement it wants it notes that the max depth is going to be 12 inches below the sewer's invert elevation of the proposed station. So this would be so that the drop shaft extended beneath the sewer itself so that the sewer could reside within it. So we have to subtract one more foot aka 12 inches here from from our initial depth provided by A. So this is just going to give us 407.4 feet. And then finally, we have step four, which is just find the total depth of the drop shaft bottom. So depth is going to be equal to ground surface at B minus the drop shaft bottom elevation. So that's just going to be 418 given here minus 407.4 which we've calculated and that's going to give us 10.6 feet. And that's all it takes to solve this particular problem. Uh, the only thing you'd really need to know here is that an invert elevation means the bottom of the sewer. There's nothing else from the manual since the rest of this is just a geometry problem. And that's it.